Hello, um, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to optimize the C Trader Neptune uh, trading robots. There's 10 trading robots. The one you're looking at now is the Euro USD. Um, and I'm going to show you how you would go about optimizing just one of them, in this case, this currency symbol, um, to get the best settings so you've got a higher probability that when you run it on live data, um, that you'll have a higher chance of winning trades. So if I scroll down the page, um, you'll see here that we provide one year backtest results already. Now these results are um, from optimized settings that we've already run. Um, we run it over our backtesting um, history of one year. Now the settings that we've got for this trading system um, were, were the results you can see on the chart now. It actually provided 73% balance increase with a drawdown of 2.7 and 3.67. Now again, you know, as we said in the backtest uh, videos, this isn't what you're going to get in the future. It just improves your chance that when you run the robot, that you're going to get uh, more of a chance than if you didn't run a backtest or your backtest said it was very poor results. So what I'm going to do now is just go back to um, C Trader. Now on C Trader, the first thing you'll see is the chart here. You want to go to the Automate tab, bottom left. If I click on that, I've already got the Euro USD Neptune robot showing. I've added an instance already, and you can see there's loads of parameter settings here for the robot. Now I'll do another video explaining the settings and what they do. But what it means by optimizing is finding the best value for stop loss buy max, stop loss sell max, the best value for things like um, trading hours, trailing stop, and especially all the um, trend indicators. So there's many trend indicators that this trading system uses. In this case, there's 60. So each trading indicator will have a period or a value that works for the symbol that you want to trade over the market range that you're looking at. Now the market ranges change over time, so the cycles change, but the whole idea is to fit these values for the trading system so you get a higher probability that you'll be able to get um, some good results when you run it on fresh data. Now just because you optimize these settings, it doesn't mean that you don't have to manually intervene as well. Um, we highly recommend that traders manage their positions um, look at the charts, look at market events. Don't just rely on the robot running and doing nothing else. Um, there's so many variables in the markets that could actually make your trade lose. We advise people to be um, experienced and understand what they're doing and also apply their trading skills to any automated system. And in this case, this is a semi-automated system because we don't believe you could just run this and do nothing. Again, you do need to watch the charts. Okay, so now to optimize this trading system, the best way to do it is to click on the optimization tab up here. Select your range. In this case, we did it from 15th of the third um, to the 15th of the third. And I'm going to do it for the end date, 15th of the third. So that's one year now of historical data. I'm now going to set the back test settings. So I'm going to do 1000 starting capital. I'm going to specify my commission. I'm going to do one minute bar um, because you can do the back, you can do the um, back test afterwards with tick data just to confirm what the values are like but it's much faster to do it on one minute bar if you use tick data sorry if you choose tick data you'll be sat there for days waiting for it to go um, because most currency symbols um, have a very low spread I don't think it matters too much because remember if you choose tick data the spread is included in the um, price that's coming in in the values so because the spread's so low it doesn't really matter so leave it at one minute bar anyway now we're going to leave it at zero and um, you can choose 0 0.1, but right now the spread for Euro USD is actually zero for IC markets. Now I'm going to go down to the most important thing, which is your CBOT parameters. Now, if I click on there, now what you want to do is you want to uncheck um, the first one, unique uh, name. You want to uncheck this one. So it's disable warning. No, um, the fixed lots, you want to leave them unchecked as well. So just start with 0 0.01, which is the lowest um, position size. Um, you want to check these as yes, buy only and sell only. Um, regarding the stop loss buy and stop loss sell, I would probably go from something like um, 50 to 200. And stop loss sell, I would go from 50 to 200. Oop, I'll stick it on there. Now, the take profit buy, I would go from something like, um, again, 50 to 200. I'll do it for all of them. So I would actually start by doing this for all of them. It gives you a much wider range um, for doing it. You can also experiment just by leaving the current values in there and just leaving um, the values that are actually set already. I mean, that's an option. So to see if it comes out. So the preset values that you saw there, um, it actually does plus or minus 10. So Spotware will do that. The actual C sorry, the CTrader platform will do that. So in here, if I uncheck this, it's got 65. Normally, if you check this, it would do um, 55 
to 75. So we're going to leave these little values and it gives you a much broader range. Now down here, same symbol, we're going to click no, no. Um, max spread, make sure the spread is higher than the actual spread of the symbol. So make sure that it's not too low, otherwise it won't open trades. We're going to select no for all of these, turn all these off, turn off the trading hours, um, trailing stop loss. We're going to turn this off for now. Um, this is also the good later on when you've got your results, you can then do a trailing stop loss for actual improved performance. Turn off the turbo, turbo boost, turn off the news, turn off the telegrams and turn this off. So all you're left with now are these values. Now leave these values as they are because we've already optimized the default value um, to give the best results. So what we've done um, is if I actually, I just added a CBOT instance then, if I was to run a back test on this, we've already added the default values so that they do give um, a fairly good return. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, so I'm going to run a back test now. And I'm going to do that. And if I run this, and if I open, okay, that's running. I'm going to open the trade bottom. Now you can see that the default values, when you open up a CBOT instance, already have the optimized settings in there. That's for um, this release that we've just done now, 2.5, um, which is for um, this date really, which is March 2022. Now if I increase it to position size to 0 0.05, this is what the values that we're actually showing um, on the product page. So that'll actually show you, <clears throat> I think a 70 something percent increase over one year. Okay, 77 percent. If I go to trade statistics, you can see it's well below 5% for max equity and max balance drawdown. So that's within our range of 5% that we we like to show on a on a backtest or optimization. So because it's got default parameters already, when you go to optimization, as I said, when you click on this link here, you've already got fairly good parameters in there already that you want to use. Now I've set up here zero to 200, but you can also not do that and just leave them as standard. Um, and that should give you better pro uh, settings already, okay? So if I scroll down all the way down to the bottom, leave these all the way set. Now, if I actually run a back test, you want to auto select the best pass, click on that checkbox, and you just click play. Now that's going to go away and actually run, and it should take like, I think it's like an hour and 40 minutes on this PC, which is not a very fast PC anyway. Um, the faster your PC or the more powerful, the longer, uh, the quicker it takes. So in a minute, it will start coming up with um, different results. And when it finishes, it will come up the best result um, that it can give you. So it will continue to do this and it will continue to pick different paths. So in this case, after one hour, 40 minutes, you should get something similar to the results that I showed you on the back test, which is this. You should get something similar to this at the end of the um, time period. And it will come up with the best settings for you. Now, the, the only way you'd wanna optimize is really say, because we only update the settings for the Neptune trading system every three months, you might want to do this monthly or even weekly. So you might want to do this on a regular basis just to make sure that these settings are perfect because the markets do change and you want to keep the uh, values. Now you can see it's only done 62 um, trades down there. If you want more trades, you can lower the time frame. I mean, at the moment we've got a one hour time frame. If you reduce that time frame, you should get more trades. Um, you can also increase the trades by um, changing some of the settings in the CBOT. Now, um, we don't advise that I, because the fact is, even though it only comes up with 60 or 70 trades for the year, you've got 10 robots running at 600 trades for the year. You don't need a lot of trades. Um, so again, a lot of trades don't mean a lot of money, okay? So this will carry on running until it finds the, the highest value. Now, if I click on fitness, fitness will give you the best pass. Let's put the highest value at the top, click it again. And you can see the best pass at the moment it's got up there. I can click on any one of these to see some of the other passes that have gone through. The whole idea is <clears throat> that the yellow line goes all the way up and the little gray areas you have them as small as possible, which is your risk, how much money you're risking. So that's it. That's how you optimize the um, trading system. Now, if, for example, you don't want to update all those other values, you can do this. This is another way I'm doing it, probably a quicker way. If I stop this and I add a new CBOT instance. Okay, I'm going to go through this one more time. Um, because you don't need to update the um, take profit and stop loss. So on here, if I wanted to optimize this, I'm just going to go into here. Remember, you've got to do your back to settings. Just uncheck all of these. Um, leave these values set as default, 60 to 70, 91 to 101. The reason behind that is um, that they're already optimized for this current um, trend. So I would start by just leaving them as they are. If the results you get are not very good, then I would actually change it and um, 
then I would change it, yeah, definitely, and do um, 50 to 200 like I showed you previously. Now, for example, I'm just going to uncheck and we'll just give you another example of what you would do. So this is how you would have it if you're doing an optimization. It would just be this. Now, once you get the settings that you're happy with, you then manually type these settings in here. So to do that, when it's finished your optimization, if I go back to here, I'll take a few seconds. Okay, so once it's finished the optimization and it has given you the best settings, you've got to apply them. So you've got to click on the apply button. If I click on the apply button, it's going to update the settings on the left hand side. Okay, and it's updated the settings. So I click, click apply here, you'll see the settings change again. There's a slight delay in there. So you can see the settings keep changing. Now that, what that's doing, every time you click apply, it's applying the settings to your parameters here. Once you have your parameters, you can then save the parameters by clicking on this icon at the top and you can save your parameters here, okay? Um, once you've saved them, you can then just load them back up here. So the whole idea is get your good settings, um, apply them and save them. Click on some of these to see if you find some better ones, apply it and save it. Um, also run other back tests, uh, sorry, run the optimization module with different um, settings. And, and what I'm trying to say here is this, that once you've got the best settings and you've applied them, you need then need to go back to here and you need to manually, this is the, the thing that's a bit of a pain really, you need to manually type in the values here. So in this case, to do that, I will drag this window over here. I would get rid of the uh, panel at the bottom. Okay, so this is quite important. Once you have good settings and you just want to optimize on, just say the trailing stop, um, the idea behind it is on your position settings, you copy them 95, so this would be 95. And this, this, uh, it's. I think it's a, it's a limitation of the C Trader platform. I think it would have been really good if you could then just click another icon here, like a button, and it would update these values automatically for you. And I think it's a flaw with C Trader at the moment that they do really need some kind of way of just clicking a button. So all these optimized settings that you've got from this opti optimization module, when you click apply, it puts them in here. But you then want to put them across to the optimization values here. At the moment, you've got to type them in. So in this case, say it was 59 and 121, you'd have to actually do this, type them in. And it's time consuming. And then 183, or 82, 83, and then 183. So you'd have to actually physically type them in, which is a bit of a pain. And then once you've got all the values down in here, then, then you know that you've got um, optimized settings that the best ones you can get for the currency symbol for that period. And then you might want to do something like this. You might want to then uncheck all of the optimization values because the idea is now you're optimized and you have already the perfect values. Or so what I'm going to do to demonstrate this, actually, I'm going to go down to the bottom one because that's already got optimization uh, values in it. I'll just wait until that comes up. Now in here, we've already got optimized settings. Because um, I ran a back test earlier and it showed you the results. I right, stop now. Yeah, it stopped. So I already showed you the values because it's got optimized settings already. What I'm going to do is uncheck everything because the values are already optimized. I'm sorry if this is taking a little bit too long. I, I was hoping this would be a quicker video, um, but I think there's some areas um, in optimization that I'm going through right now that you'll really appreciate when you start optimizing and you might get stuck. Um, little things like applying the parameters, moving the settings across. And also, this is very important, once you have optimized settings, how to then optimize only a part or a partial part of um, your settings for the CBOT. So by unchecking this, it's actually given me the best settings for this trading system that we've just run before. So, so now it's already got good settings. Now it's got a little red thing there, which means you can optimize it because we've not actually um, specified anything. So what I'm going to do is this. I only want to optimize now the trailing stop loss. So I did a run earlier on um, for one of these symbols. I think it's, it's published already. Now I got very good results for a symbol um, just with generally optimizing the, the settings that I showed you before. But then I thought, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just optimize the trailing stop loss. So I did a trailing stop loss trigger of um, 5 to 25 um, and I think 5 to 15 step. So you can experiment with these values. Now, when I ran this over a one year period, over the same period, what I found was that um, the results were far better. I actually increased the results. It was more so with the drawdown, the risk had reduced. 
So the actual drawdown had dropped how much money you were risking. <clears throat> so if I start this now, now what it's going to do, and it should be quite fast, it's already got the best values for an optimization, optimization run that we've done previously. We're now just saying, let's run this optimization, but just see if a trailing stop loss works, if it actually gives better results. Now I'll quickly show you um, this, and I think that'll be the video over. So I've got to also open up the bottom window. So actually what I've done is a very low drawdown there because it's, I'm going to stop it again because I forgot to set this to 1000. Okay, I'm going to run it again. So you can compare the results that you got from the optimization of how I showed you previously. Then you can make sure that all the values are in there, as I showed you, and you just optimize the trailing stop loss. And you should notice um, an improvement, not only in the net profit, but also in the, the reduced drawdown. So reducing your risk that you had. <clears throat> so it's got auto select and best pass. So you can see now down here as it's coming up with the results, it's got five minutes left to run. Um, I'm not really going to wait five minutes, but what, what this is going to do, this is actually going to run now and see if it comes up with a better value. Because it doesn't take very long, um, it's very good to do partial optimization of parameters once you have the good parameters. Now this can be applied for anything. You could go back to the settings and do it for trading hours and thing, things like that. We found that a lot of traders actually spent too long optimizing um, they were saying it was taking days and all the rest of it. You don't need to optimize everything. Um, you only need to optimize part parameters. And when you have the good parameters, you then only optimize part, part of the features, in this case, the trailing stop loss. So this will carry on running. And I think I'm not going to wait five minutes, <clears throat> but the one we did previously, we found that the drawdown here was much lower. So this has got a 13% net profit and an only a 1.14% equity drawdown or a 0.7% of your balance was at risk. To put some comparison, a 50% balance drawdown means half of your money was at risk. A 0.78 means less than 1% of your um, capital was at risk. Okay, so that's it. That's the video. So I know I went into a little bit too much depth. If you do have any questions, please post it on the uh, YouTube video, but also please post on our, for on our um, help forum. So we have actually a help forum. I'll just quickly show you. Um, and if you post on there, if I go to Help Center, so if you go to the Help Center, you can access, you can find out other information about our products here. Um, I've got to find out where the forum is now. Um, 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 suggestions. So if you do have any uh, questions regarding optimization, they just come into this site here at ctrader.info, go to optimization, uh, go on to Neptune. Now, there's a lot of information here to help you with Neptune optimization. Um, and it's on the product page. There's a link on the product page already. Um, it tells you um, the settings that we've published, share your settings. Um, it's got other things, an optimization guide, an optimization handbook. So it's got all the information that you need to help you with optimization as well as this video. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry about that. It took a long time. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps our rankings and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.